what we will notice is when you guys are looking at this, all right, um, what you guys will see is, again, we have the difference of two angles. So therefore, we can just simply go ahead and apply our tangent, uh, the difference of two angles for tangent. So in this example, just kind of like what we did before, we can rewrite this as tangent of 7 pi over 6 ba, 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 minus tangent of 3 pi over 4. There's no snickering behind my back, please. Uh, 1. And then now, just remember, it's the difference of the other sign here, plus the tangent of 7 pi over 6 times the tangent of 3 pi over 4. Whew. Right? All right. So now comes into the main really, really important point. Yes? Uh, technically, no, it does not. You'd have to like re, I mean, just as long as you're following the same pattern as far as the formula, then yeah. It's, um, but it does, I mean, obviously you don't want to like, you could like switch them around, but um, no, yeah, actually it does matter. You got to make sure you go in the U and the V, kind of uh, U and V, and then plug them in appropriately. So yes, it does matter, especially with subtraction. With adding, it's not going to be as much of a difference, but with subtraction, dip, uh, order matters, right? All right, so now we got to go and know our unit circle. Ugh, crap, tangent, unit circle. Hate tangent on unit circle. So let's just kind of think about 7 pi over 6. We know 7 pi over 6 hopefully is right here. That means it has a reference angle of pi over 6. So let's go back over for the reference angle of pi over 6. That coordinate point is square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half. Yes? And the tangent of that would be? 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. And since we've been dealing with the unit circle for so many times, we should know by this point that that simplifies to square root of 3 over 3. Yes, but we want to make sure we get to that point rather quickly. So tangent, though, however, is in which quadrant? Tangent 7 pi over 6 is in which quadrant? Third quadrant. So therefore, it is p -p -p positive. So therefore, I have square root of 3 over 3 minus tangent of 3 pi over 4. Well, again, guys, that has a reference angle of pi over 4. And we know that coordinate point is square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2. Yes, yeah, so therefore it's 1. However, 3 pi over 4 is in the second quadrant. So therefore, it is negative all over. And then here we have 1 plus square root of 3 over 3 times negative 1. And now, when we go ahead and simplify this, we have square root of 3 over 3 plus 1 all over 1 plus, I'm sorry, minus square root of 3 over 3. And oh my god, look at That's just like what we did for our warm up, right? I didn't even plan that for you guys. But anyways, you guys hopefully know we can hopefully kind of do this a little bit quicker here. I can multiply by 3 on the top and the bottom, right? So since we already kind of did this on our warm up, I'm not going to explain it as much. So we have square root of 3 plus 3 all over 3 minus the square root of 3. And then the next thing I need to do is, if we're going to simplify this a little bit further, we can multiply by the conjugate. And then the point that I want you guys to be able to do is, rather than have to foil this out step by step, is you guys should be able to do this you know, multiplying same terms in your head. So therefore, that's going to give you 9 plus uh, 6 square root of 3 plus th uh, 3. And then in the denominator, that's going to be 9 minus 3. And that simplifies to 12 plus 6 square root of 3 over 6, which simplifies to 2.